All right. Let's do this, guys. So we are looking for some granite. Granite, granite. That is what we're looking for today on the, I guess, the, the tag game for our 49cc scoots. Um, there should be some pretty close by, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, hopefully by the time I get there, there's actually going to be nobody else that's gotten the challenge. We can post it right then and there. No issues. <sighs> Let's see. This is probably the first video I'll post because, well, everything going well. I'm hoping the audio comes out pretty good. And I haven't gotten to ride in a really long time, guys. And it feels good. We're probably about like 65 degrees outside. It's uh, not too hot, not too chilly. It actually feels great. It's an amazing night tonight to go out riding. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Oh God, the guy just got wet. Yeah, get wet. So let's see, should be good to go. Um, we'll take the picture of it. I'll tell you guys how this game works. Uh, it's just a forum game. Uh, kind of uh, just have little tags that people go out there. It's, uh, right now, like I said earlier, it's just some granite. We have uh, some granite countertop place over here, close by. I'm going to try to take a look at it. You can take a picture. You get to choose the next tag. And then uh, you post it to the forum, see what people say, see if they can get it. Uh, then you get a point. If you get a point, next person goes. Um, pretty much self-explanatory after that. Um, Let's see what else. There is a thing about hubcaps. They have become the tiebreaker. So if you have more than one person with the top score, when you have a hubcap, you uh, you are on top. Or I guess the person that has the most hubcaps is on top. You got. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Probably go faster than here. So what is this? What what am I riding? A lot of people already know. Um, it's just a Honda Ruckus. It's literally what it is. I am um, riding my Honda Ruckus 2008. I put some uh, aftermarket mods onto it. Um, and here we are at the, the place that has the granny. Let's take the pictures. Okay, let's do this. Granite. Oh man. Okay, and then I'll do a pretty easy one. We'll just go over here. Two little Caesars. Get a pizza place. Double tap it on the little Caesars. Okay. All right, we got the pizza place. What are we looking at? 12 volts.
bomb in the curtains. We'll see what's up. Dollar Tree. Ah, uh, Pizza Hut. I could have gone Pizza Hut. Okay, let's go back to what I'm riding. This is a 2008 Honda Ruckus. Uh, it comes stock with a 50cc engine. I have uh, put a little bit more aftermarket parts into it. I um, actually had a car for a while and uh, it's starting to mess up. So what I ended up doing was I sold my car. It wasn't a, a very expensive car. It was like a 2007 Chevy Cobalt. Uh, and everything I got from that car went to parts for the ruckus and then some. So yes, there is a lot of money into this Honda Ruckus. It is not the fastest Honda Ruckus out there, but I built it all myself. Every single piece of it, I mean, the engine came, the two wheels are pretty, pretty fancy looking. They're pretty cool. And uh, I put it all together. There was a forum, you know, people helped out. There's a lot of questions that I had. I've never actually done anything too mechanically involved myself. But I felt like this was actually not too bad. Um, if you take it step by step, uh, you take a lot of pictures along the way, seeing uh, what you took apart, how it was taken apart, how it gets uh, put back together. Uh, it's a big deal because a lot of the times you just take things apart willy-nilly where you don't really look at things. You just like, want to get to the bare bones and uh, it's not always the best thing to do because I'll, oh there's the blinker a lot of the things you see in this uh, build is like when you take things apart you forget how to put them back together so what I would suggest to do if you're trying to build something is read through the manual I know it's not it doesn't sound fun uh, but damn you're gonna learn a lot um, what else can I tell people to do uh, whenever they are taking things apart just do mods one at a time oh not again you gotta be kidding me why oh this is killing me let's see but yeah the thing you got to do is <laughs> Do the little mods, put little things, read a lot about what you're doing, learn from other people's mistakes. <laughs> As I'm sitting here broken down. Uh, the irony is not lost in me, I swear. All right, let's see if we can do this again. Come on. Oh, come on. <sighs> a few moments later and we're back so yeah I was saying I've narrowed that issue down to uh, the carburetor which I have the new carburetor is an Oco 28 millimeter slide carburetor the fuel pump which could be an issue uh, I definitely need to change the the fuel filter. Um, 
Yeah, I need to change the fuel filter, uh, put the new intake, the new uh, cable, the new throttle for the, the carb. And once I get that taken care of, I should be able to tune it. Um, there's a buddy of mine that lives in Austin that has a, um, what is it, an, an air fuel mixture gauge. And uh, I'll be tuning it probably with that, to be honest with you. Just because uh, that's the best way to do it. I have uh, a lot of videos, I've watched a lot of videos. Uh, Burnout Bobby has a really good one out where he shows uh, kind of how to do it. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Mine's a 28 millimeter carb. The one he was talking about is a 30. Um, I mean, I could have gone with a 30, but I feel like for what I have now and what I plan to upgrade to, I'm not going to need that big of a carb. But I'm going to be doing the same thing that he does. I'm going to be tuning my carburetor the way that he does with his uh, with his gauge, the, the fuel mixture, air, fuel air mixture gauge. There's an actual name for it right now. It's like, it's gone from my mind. But uh, I'll be tuning it, uh, buying all those parts. It's going to be a slow process. There's some other things I got to do around the house. I got to take care of some things, some other purchases before I, I focus on the rock, ruckus but once that's done I am hoping everything's taken care of and uh, I can just go out and ride do little rides every now and then and uh, have some fun it's been a really long time I used to be able to ride this thing on a daily basis and it, it kind of really sucks that I can't anymore um, I would like to learn a lot more like I said I just put this engine together it's a GY6 150cc conversion on this Honda Ruckus but I want to be able to tune the the variator uh, I guess the transmission uh, do a bit different clutch a different clutch bell eventually you have a fancy what they call an ankle biter uh, CVT cover on it so you can see everything moving along it just makes it look pretty nice and uh, it's just kind of fancy lucky <laughs> a lot of the stuff everybody's like you can't really make a Ruckus make two look look too much different than regular but you know what everybody has their own little tweaks and makes it their own and that's what's awesome about it and you know what if you like going and riding out it doesn't have to be fast but as long as you're riding you can just relax let your problems behind and you know what when in doubt ruck it out guys see you guys on the next one bye